this is a uh, video about how to solder XT60 connectors and uh, how to solder bullet connectors. I just happened to get another charger the other day, so uh, figured this is as good opportunity as any. Uh, I use Kester solder. You can get uh, 6040, which has always just kind of been an industry standard. I've got some uh, 6337 here. It's better for certain things. You don't get cold weld as often, but uh, 6040 is plenty for me. Besides that, 6337 uh, is not that great. I didn't get it from a reputable supplier, so it doesn't solder quite as nice. So I'll go ahead and pre tin your wires. This one is the charger side, so I need a mail end. Nice solder glob on your uh, iron. Make sure it's clean. I've got my iron a little bit hot, but uh, as long as you clean fairly often, it doesn't matter. So I apply heat to the bottom and pre-tin. Then it's a simple matter. Always remember your heat shrink boys and girls. Because otherwise it's frustrating takes too long. Bad electrical insulation. You know, all sorts of bad things. Then you just sweat your connections get together. One big thing about uh, trying to solder, and this is especially important with uh, thicker wires, if you're going with any of the pretty serious stuff like 10 gauge, you're going to need a heavier uh, soldering iron tip. If you're trying to deal with 0.08 uh, ends like you would be using for fine stuff, it's going to be next to impossible. Just because you can't get the heat into the wire before the wire pulls the heat away. For doing your heat shrink, it's a pretty easy thing. You can use a lighter, a heat gun, or I just use a torch. Doesn't take much heat, but it does a nice connection. There's no way that's going to let go. I'll do a bullet connector now. I do these a little bit different just because it takes too long if you're doing it otherwise. Uh, again, pre tin your wire. This one's already done, but I'll do it again because I don't know what solder is on it. Lead free solder is a pain in the butt. Get leaded solder. Lead free solder is hard on your tips and uh, it makes it a lot harder to. Uh, a lot harder to do a good solid job. There's quite a few issues with it. So, fill her up with solder, a little extra heat. Once it firms up, I just drop it in the well for my uh, soldering iron. And away you go, a little bit of heat shrink, that's never going to come loose. Really, really solid connection. And it's fast. You saw it only took, what, 20, 30 seconds? So, I hope you found this uh, video instructive. Uh, best of luck to you.